So the goal of this is to just eat mainly fruits and vegetables for three to six months. Detoxifying the gut and the colon is a big part of shrinking your fibroids. He juiced half a watermelon and got this. So this is a jackfruit, jackfruit with dandelion greens, peppers, onions on a bed of heart of palm pasta. Hey there loved ones, welcome to Food of Loving Yourself. My name is Sonya Star J and today I'm gonna to be sharing with y'all my grocery haul. Okay, I know that when you got a diagnosis of fibroids or hormonal imbalance or anything that tells you that you gotta change your diet or change the way that you eat, it's like, dang, I gotta give up this, I gotta give up that. And so oftentimes, at least for me, it's kind of hard to make the things that you have to eat taste like the things that you wanna eat. So I spent a lot of time at the grocery store last weekend and this weekend and we were able to pick up some things to make some meals that we really enjoy and also I'm, I'm gonna be doing some juicing we're about to be cleaning our groceries so we're just gonna hop right on into this okay so I actually got my camera on the charger because I didn't know that I was going to be filming today so I didn't charge my camera so I'm confined to this little corner so I'm gonna just show y'all everything that I got. I'm gonna just take everything out the bed. Now all of this stuff cost me about $150. And to be honest with you, it could have been cheaper. But the reason why is because my fiance wanted these burgers and he also got some bacon somewhere. Oh yeah, he got some bacon. And then like, just like the, you know, this type of stuff actually cost a lot more. So you could get stuff for cheaper, um, but we still, you know, eat processed foods. So if we wouldn't have got the condiments and the meat, it probably could have been a lot cheaper. So this week's grocery list consists of a mango, a golden mango, a dragon fruit, some banana. Ah! I dropped my dragon fruit. Some bananas, <laughs> Granny Smith apples. These are really good for detoxing the liver. I was told to eat a Granny Smith apple per day and a salad per day as well. And then I got a papaya. I got this papaya and papaya is really good for those with reproductive health issues and the seeds are good for detoxifying the liver and just like detoxifying your gut and your colon and everything like that. Actually, I'm going to be trying the papaya seed detox. I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of different detox cleanses to see, um, you know, how well they work because detoxifying the gut and the colon is a big part of shrinking your fibroids. I also got a pineapple. This one's not ready yet, but pineapple is really good for detoxification and a cantaloupe. I think I ate this cantaloupe in two days. I ate one cantaloupe in two days. So the goal of this is to just eat mainly fruits and vegetables for uh, three to six months. Um, yeah, and so a lot of the recipes that I'm making, like my crab cakes, or just want to be fruits and vegetables and yeah mushrooms chickpeas you know we're gonna get into this i'm actually going to share that whole recipe with y'all so that's the fruits that i got for this week now let me show y'all the vegetables so for my vegetables we got some spring mix some baby spinach some radishes because i heard seen something on TikTok that if you have to give up potatoes that radishes and turnips are a good potato substitute i don't know so we're gonna try it and we're gonna see how that works out because i have to give up potatoes and i'm really sad about that because you know i love i'm, I'm a potato so the radishes um yeah we're gonna see how that works and we got some beets now I have iron deficiency anemia. Beets and spinach are really good for boosting your iron. So we're gonna make a smoothie juice something out of these beets. I, I don't know if you can do anything with the beet stems. I know the beet root is really good. So I'm gonna try to find a recipe for these stems because I feel like that's just a waste of the vegetable to not use the whole thing, right? So yeah, we're gonna find something to do with that, but we're gonna make that juice as well. 
Then we got some celery. I'm gonna be making my own bone broth. Um, Cause I don't know if as a vegan, you can drink the chicken bone broth, but bone broth is also supposed to be really good for healing your gut and helping you to like, you know, go to the bathroom and help with your digestive system. So I'm gonna be using some of this in my bone broth and I'm also gonna be making some celery juices. So I'm glad that um, I found these for cheaper. These were only like $3 at the other store. They had the small ones for $5. I was like, what in the world? And you have to get organic celery when you're doing organic and when you're doing celery juices. So yeah, I got, I thought I got three of these, but I guess I got two. I'm going to probably be ending up getting some more depending on how many juices I get from this. So yeah, we got celery, then we got cauliflower. I seen this bomb cauliflower parmesan that's supposed to be like a chicken parmesan. Y'all, it looked fire. So we're gonna be trying to make that out of this cauliflower. Yeah, cause that, that looks like a time to be had. Uh, we got some parsley and cilantro. I'm gonna be making a heavy metal, heavy metal detox juice. Uh, yeah, for me and my fiance and cilantro is supposed to be really good for detoxing heavy metals. And then the parsley, I forget why they added the parsley, but when I do the video, I'll let y'all know them. Then we got some ginger. Um, I was going to get turmeric to do like a turmeric and carrot, uh, juice, but turmeric is supposed to like make your blood thin and i don't know if i'm actually supposed to be using turmeric so i opted out of getting the turmeric this time until i do more research into that so for now the ginger is going to be good and then we got some avocados i cannot eat bananas my fiance eats the bananas i cannot eat bananas because i did my blood test I found out that my blood type was type a b i think or a plus and when you have that blood type you're supposed to eat vegetarian and you're not supposed to eat certain things and bananas happens to be one of them and i had ate a banana after not eating them for a while and i was constipated and i was bloated and i was so confused the only thing that i had added back into my diet was bananas so your body actually will tell you when it's unhappy so no bananas for me Swishing out avocados and my recipes for like my juices and my smoothies and stuff. So, yeah. Um, oh. I already had some peppers and I had to get some onions. I love sweet onions. I have been using a red onion in all my recipes, but I really put peppers and onions in everything. Peppers, onions, garlic powder, onion powder. Like, that's, that's my staple and Cajun season, y'all. So, yeah, that's all the vegetables we have. Then we got like some condiments and stuff. And I really want to show y'all this one thing. All right. So for like our condiments and like some little side items, we got beans. I love black beans. But then I got this mix from the store and it had black beans and kidney beans together. They were so good. I mean, I seasoned them down right, okay? But they were so good, so I got these to go together. And I got a couple of cans of these too because I really just like eating beans. So then we got, okay, so we got the beans. We got some stuff for my fiance, like ketchup, mustard, whatever, mayonnaise. Um, Then I got these artichoke quarters. I had this really good artichoke filly from this, place called Penn Station Subs and I really wanted to try to remake that with these and then they're marinated and it just looked like it tastes good and it was on sale so I'm gonna try these and see what I think about artichokes then we got heart of palms now the heart of palms is what I'm going to be using to make my crab cakes there's a bunch of different things that you could do with heart of palms so I'm going to be actually doing that recipe with y'all or for y'all i'm gonna be showing y'all everything that i put in it and how i do it and we're gonna rate it 
and see if they actually taste like crab cakes, okay? Because I love a good crab cake and I had crab cakes yesterday from this restaurant and they was not given. Then we just got some queso dip because we're having taquitos this week. And uh, it's just, you know, there's no soy, no dairy. And it was, you know, it's a whole bunch of stuff that's actually food. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's just like a whole bunch of real ingredients. I was like, oh, okay, let's try that and see if it actually tastes like cheese. Now, this is what I wanted to show y'all. Okay, I was looking for some vegan fish sauce because it's supposed to help your food taste like fish, right? Like in Thai dishes or just like in fish dishes for vegans. Now... I'm going to be using this in my crab cake recipe. I'm also going to add this to some of my jackfruit that I used with my grits yesterday because we got some leftover. And I'm going to see if it actually makes the food taste like, you know, like a fishy taste. I don't know, but we're going to see what that's hitting for. But I really wanted to share this with y'all because I think this might be a game changer for me. Then we just got some juice from Aldi's, like the seven superfoods. Got pomegranate, cherry, grape, strawberry, mulberry, fig, and cranberry. My fiance and I really love these. Then we got the antioxidant power juice, pomegranate, cherry, grape, carrot, cranberry, and blueberry. I'm making juices of my own, like, you know, with the celery juice and all that, but he doesn't like the green juices. So I got those for him. Then we got some seaweed to go in the crab cakes because you're supposed to use nori fukaki, but the nori fukaki that I seen at the store had sugar in it and we're trying to stay away from, you know, refined sugars and, you know, things like that. Then the last thing, or no, one of the last things we got was spring water. Now, I noticed, and I reached out to two of the holistic practitioners that I'm working with because I noticed that we're supposed to drink spring and distilled water, but we're also supposed to stay away from plastic. But all of the spring and distilled water is in plastic. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do? So I went and got some spring water, but as you can see, it's not like a whole lot. And so I got two of them. I got two. What am, I, what am I gonna do with this? So I need to like cook and do my yoni things with distilled water, but it's in plastic. So they said to just get the distilled water that's in the plastic and transfer it to like a glass container. I'm like, all right, I'll do that then. And then the last thing I got, I'm glad I didn't forget these was baking soda. Cause we gotta clean our vegetables. We gotta clean our fruits and our vegetables. So yeah now that's what i'm about to do i'm about to clean the fruits and vegetables and make us some breakfast like brunch or something like that put some of this stuff away make us some brunch and then clean the vegetables and yeah we're going to get into all of that i think this is a good start though a good start for somebody you know trying to transition a vegan or who has to give up things i might do like a um you know, like type of like ebook thing so that you can have all of it, like all of the recipes, all the ingredients, you know, all of the groceries that I get. And yeah, you'll just be able to download that once I get it in there and you'll find it in the description box whenever that gets done. So let me go ahead and put this stuff to put this stuff away and I'll be right back. Oh, wait, y'all. I didn't get this today, but I wanted to share this with you. This is a pasta substitute. And it's the heart of palm pasta. You usually can get this only at Trader Joe's, but I seen this at my chain grocery store today. I got seen it at Food Lion. No, wait, I seen it at Aldi's. Yeah, they got this at Aldi's. So this is a gluten-free pasta alternative and it's actually really good. I'm gonna make some jackfruit spaghetti with this. Maybe I'll share that recipe with y'all too, because like it's it don't sound good. But it really be in the way that I make it, though. It, it the way I make it. So, yeah, if you're looking for a gluten-free pasta substitute, this is it. Because they said it don't use, like, don't eat, like, overly processed foods. But, I mean, listen, we got to do what we got to do. So, try this. Try this. Okay. So, I was told to do one Granny Smith apple and one salad a day. So I got spring mix and I got arugula. Arugula is a bitter, uh, um, a, a bitter green, but it's really, really good for detoxing the liver. So I'm just gonna mix these both together. I can't like mix it up or whatever, but I'm gonna just put these in here and every day 
every day <laughs> when I need to get a salad for work. I'm just going here, prep me a salad in my little bowl, and that'll be my salad for the week. I got some seeds too, like pumpkin seeds, uh, sesame seeds, and some other stuff. And then I just got this um, apple cider dressing. It has apple cider, ginger, and sesame seeds, and I just eat that every day. And I'll probably chop up some peppers and some onions and throw that in there too. Yeah, that'll be good. Now I've seen this girl do this on here and I'm doing, it says wash before use, obviously. So I'm gonna wash these off in my baking soda. I don't know if you're supposed, if this is one of those things where you need to wash it like right before you eat it or wash it like before you store it type things. But um, I don't know, I'm gonna Google it and see, but I'm about to put it in this thing. Now I've seen this girl put some water in a jar and then put, what the heck? And then she put the vegetables in there like that. Now I thought I was gonna be able to fit the parsley and the cilantro in one, but I could just fit the cilantro in one. So yeah, just sit in there like that. So I guess it's supposed to keep it fresher, longer. And well, that's pretty, isn't it? No, I just put it in the fridge. <laughs> I'm like, maybe it just don't like carrots. Like it's juicing some of them and I, I gave it a break. So it can't, I'll do it one at a time. May, oh, maybe it's that it don't like baby carrots because, shit, I don't know. <laughs> So I just put two carrots in there. Let's see how that works. And I'll put it on two. Oh, wait, let's go. Oh, you gotta put this thing on. No, it's not, it's not working. Maybe I'll try a different a different fruit and see if it works that way. Cause this is it's all like that. What's I gonna do? I got all this other fruits and vegetables to do. Let me try something else. See if that works. But so far, it's not looking good. carrots might just be too hard so I wonder how it will work with the beets I need help I need help I need help getting this out I put the thing in wrong. so maybe maybe it's not that the juicer doesn't work maybe I just don't know what I'm doing <laughs> okay so what I was doing wrong y'all was he just showed me that there's uh, this thing it goes in here like that so yeah don't make that mistake so uh so I'm over here trying to juice frozen mangoes and I found out that I can't so yeah I'm gonna have to <laughs> do this over it well yeah, because I want to eat that mango this week. So I'm going to have to get, like... I can take that mango now and you can juice it. Yeah, but you need, like, a whole bunch of mangoes to do, like, a juice. Like, I use two apples for this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah that's why I said juicing really is 
It can get expensive. You gotta use the whole fruit. Mm. You don't get a lot of juice out of one apple. You think you get a cup out of an apple? I thought so. No, you're not gonna get eight ounces. Uh, there is. Well, you lesson get, learned. You may get an ounce. Yeah. For one apple? Yeah. <gasps> wow. Well, wow. watermelon is probably different. Try to juice the watermelon. Let's clean that out. Let's try to juice the watermelon. That'll be different. You'll see the difference. Yeah. Juicing uh, that uh, dragon fruit, that's different. Because it has more water content. Yes. Yeah, mango, same as it. Fresh fruit, same thing. If you're going to juice the um, uh, ginger, you're going to get a shot. That's what, it, that's what happened. I juiced a whole nut of ginger. And it was like, I was like, what is this? Because it's not juicy, it's a root. Hmm. So that's got to be well, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Okay, well, I learned my lesson today. Yeah, let's my try, first let's time try this. Juicing. You got that watermelon in there, we just take that water and scrape it in there. Make okay. But let me go ahead and clean that up for you. Okay. So. So you're not using these scares no more? Yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to juice them. If I enter the fold, I'm a beacon. So let's go ahead and juice the carrots. Yeah. Well, for my first time juicing, I guess it wasn't that successful. Wait, wait a minute. All of those carrots that, that I was struggling with, yeah, he you, just juiced them. How'd you do that? Because, man, I don't know how you was doing I don't know how you were doing it. Watch. Wait. You just be shoving this thing down in there and you don't have to do it. You got to just let it, you can... Do that shit. I grab, grab, grab the shit. Or you can put water in this, so you don't have to push it down yourself. This whole time I was trying to figure out why there was a hole in there. I was telling you that. I, I was even, like, what in the world? This I don't make no funny. sense. I wasn't being funny. I know, but that not make sense because I'm like, what? Because no, nobody gonna understand this stuff just off the box. If you ain't gonna read the direction, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So read the directions, guys. The camera. This is what he got out of that carrot juice that I was struggling to get. So, yeah, it wasn't the juicer. It was me. <laughs> he juiced half a watermelon and got this. A quarter of a watermelon. A quarter of a watermelon and got this. So. Yeah, I, it's just gonna take some more practice for me. I'm over here making um, spaghetti pasta. Um, yeah. This is the heart of palm pasta I was telling y'all about. Um, I used it to replace spaghetti, linguine, all of that good stuff. And it is actually really good. I seasoned it with some Italian herbs, garlic, and onion. Let me bring y'all a little closer. So this is a jackfruit, jackfruit with dandelion greens, peppers, onions on a bed of heart of palm pasta. Um, um, and I seasoned it with Italian seasonings, garlic, onion, and Cajun seasoning. Let's see. And this is my first time eating this with y'all, okay? So, let's see. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Taste is trash. One thing I'm gonna do, it's going to cook, honey. Treat quickly. Our walls have been loaded with the shit. Don't make that face. This chatter from the West about becoming a sovereign nation. Hello. That needs to stop. The sooner we are one country. <laughs> it's jackfruit yeah. with peppers and onions, right. dandelion greens, and heart of palm pasta. Okay. Ain't it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, up a plate. We got a winner winner chicken dinner. It's not chicken though. It's jackfruit. Yes. All right. Well, 
that really concludes today's video it wasn't a fail with the juicer as you can see he is doing a right on good job with the juicer that it was, was me that was all the beats the juicer works fine um because i definitely was about to give it a bad review yo what what beet juice is not bad let me taste it <laughs> beet juice is not bad and he don't like beets oh <laughs> i like that oh oh wow that's like sweet so juicing isn't a fail it wasn't a fail today so we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog video here so we can clean up and eat dinner and get ready for the rest of the work week i'm going to be recording a different video of different juices that we're making once i get the hang of how to actually use the juicer myself <laughs> detox juices that i'm using to heal my body with parsley cilantro beets spinach all of that and then i'm gonna be sharing some different recipes with y'all right here on the channel too because just because you got to give up certain foods don't mean you got to give up flavor okay so yeah love you guys thanks for tuning in and i'll catch y'all in the next video make sure that you check out the next video right here okay bye